You are probably thinking to yourself, Sir Henry, what is thou doing riding a steed in the middle of the forest? Well, I'd say unto thee, this is what I feel like when I've won yet another glorious victory with my fellow sacred order champions. So let thou help thee sew this into thy mind's tapestry. So you've got yourself a brand new phone and you're looking for the best mobile game to play that delights you with awesome visuals, powerful champions, intense challenge and PvE bosses and tentacle PvP content. Alas, you know the game. The one that Fred has been playing ever since he downloaded it all those years ago and has been dreaming for the day to see the rude English knight turned into a sacred order champion. That's right, it's the best mobile game, Raid Shadow Legends. The world of Raid Shadow Legends and Monster Hunter are colliding in an amazing limited time crossover. Up until March the 5th, players will be able to collect five Monster Hunter themed legendary champions based on the iconic monsters from Capcom's action RPG franchise, Rathalos, Zinogra, Ruiner, Nojiganti, Alatrion, Fatalus. Everyone will be able to get the Rathalos Blade Master legendary champion for free, simply by logging into Raid for seven days between now and March the 5th. Players can get the other four Monster Hunter themed champions via special in-game events, so check in-game to see how you can collect these amazing champions. Combine this with different in-game activities, themed community events, and special events. This is one crossover thou does not want to miss. Sir Henry will we be treated with more exciting raid updates. The most exciting update to happen in raid since Doom Tower, Cursed City. It's one of raid's biggest features with a hundred stages to complete, including stages where you need to take down two of raid's bosses at the same time. As you work your way through the Cursed City, complete its various quests and you can even get your hands on a mythical champion. And you know this month love has been in the air, and what better way to spend it than with the love of your mobile gaming life in the comfort of where you'd like to be comforted. Raid Shadow Legends has an abundance of content to cozy up with, including the ongoing Lunar Festival event, a fresh update bringing a powerful new skill type, and some awesome new champions. Check out White Knight Narsis and White Queen Ancora. They're the ultimate undead power couple. There's plenty to adore and raid this February and onward, so be sure to download and check out the game now. New players, if you click my link in the description or scan the QR code here, right there, you'll get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot. So, for all noble game dreaming folks such as myself, hit the link in the description with haste and become a champion of champions. Once you're in and you're crushing your enemies, maybe we'll cross paths and we'll be legends together. Thank you, Raid, for sponsoring your highly themed ASMR video tonight. <laughs>
for the defense of these lands, of course, and not for me to look stupendous and, of course, add a bit of extra finesse to this particular keep which I'm uh, inhabiting here. And, of course, I've built. Well, I've summoned you to my local living quarters purely because I haven't seen your face here for quite some time. One would think that you have been avoiding me, or perhaps my knights. Well, I'd like to do the rounds and get to know all of the local serfdom around here, and uh, today is your turn. So be a good folk, and would you go and get me some new candles. As you can tell, the ones in here are pretty much all burnt out, and the servants today haven't been out and got me any. Well, I haven't got any gold coin to give you to get those candles. You're going to have to get it yourself, obviously. Why would you come to me or suspect that I would have any gold coin to give you? It's late. I'm trying to sleep. I want my candles here in my quarters. Or oh, can I task you with that noble task, or is it a bit beyond your peasant brain? Oh, such insolence of you again. You consider yourself a jester. Have you considered being a jester? No? Well, you appear to have a bit of a wit about you. However, that only makes me remember you more, which means I will be, of course, knowing what you owe me for the defense of these lands, and your lands fall in my lands. And of course it isn't actually your land at all, it's actually my land, and I can come round and, and take your probably peasant farm you know, whatever you're sowing into the ground, the earthly time at night. Yeah, but well, it is a lovely moonlit night tonight. I'm surprised you're not out in the fields. Everybody else is. Insolence again. Well, I mean, yes, I did summon you here. Otherwise you would be doing a bright. I mean, of course that's, that's fair enough. But I want my candles here in my quarter. Okay, and this fire is going out soon as well, so if you find some firewood, then be sure to bring it up to the castle, okay? Right, and then that shall be uh, your duties done for today. Okay, be gone, peasant. Go get my candles, okay? I want the very best candles, okay? I don't want some peasant candles. Get me the very best ones, the most relaxing ones. I'm very busy here up in my castle doing Lord Noble things. So I expect the finest of candles. Can you can you manage that? Oh, good. Well off you go then. Off you go. settler here in the land of the lord who who runs this area in up in the castle the baron the lord you know lord henry or sir henry or whatever you'd like to call him you are which i've i've never seen you upon this dwelling before and uh, it's a pleasure to meet you the friar here, 
and I take care in all of the things in which you see inside this quite humble building here. Now, one of the things which I do when it gets a little bit late and everyone has settled a little bit and I take it that's why you're here I do create and make candles and for which are used in the chapel and of course none of them are taken away from the chapel and then placed behind me and ready to be sold on for extra coin or anything like that I wouldn't be doing anything like that what kind of fry would you think I am but instead I'm here to help you and to sell some fine crafted candles for you to enjoy and wherever you're settled to perhaps heighten your establishment or perhaps give you a purpose um, with using a candle. I have different candles for different purposes and all of the candles which I make, like I said, are definitely not from the church and I've just taken them and then selling them on uh, later on at night. Nothing like that. But they are here and created for peasants such as yourself. And we are all try to uh, live helping one another here. Good. Well, is there something I can get you? You look like you've traveled far. Have you been up near the castle as of late? Hmm. Has uh, Sir Henry probably placed another burden upon you? Most likely. Hmm. Well, I tend to get people who've come direct from the castle who seem to be running errands. Or perhaps they're checking on me. I'm not quite sure yet. But Sir Henry always appears to be wanting something and he tends to uh, choose selective uh, workers and settlers, um, which he would call peasants and serfs and things like that, you know, to do his duties and things. So you're, you're here looking for some candles for yourself or perhaps for Sir Henry. Is, is that right? The nobleman has tasked you with a noble task. Uh, just forget about Sir Henry at the moment. What do you call yourself? Well, pleased to make your acquaintance. And you are... Well, I'm a friar and you are... Curious, I've not heard that before. A humble purveyor of antiquities and religious artifacts. Well, you've come to the right place and perhaps you have some things to barter if that's something that friars and, and people of that uh, sort uh, do. Of course, I, I I have nothing to do or anything like that. I, I don't trade and I don't exchange coin, especially gold and silver coin. And I certainly don't drink or make my own mead, anything like that. Would you like some? Would you like to try some? This is some of the finest mead which I've created. Now, well, we'll get onto that shortly, but perhaps you'd like to have a little one. Please do. A little bit more there. And what do you make of that? mead drinks that I have ever created. It's just a little hobby of mine. Perhaps I'll show you sometime. Candles you're here for and candles are what I shall offer you tonight. Now is there a particular candle that you're after? Perhaps you'd like a relaxing candle. Perhaps you'd like a visually stimulating candle. Perhaps you'd like purpose-filled candles. Whatever candle you have in mind, I'm sure that I'm able to get the perfect candle for you. 
What is it you would like? Okay, well, being a humble purveyor of religious artifacts and antiquities, then perhaps I can find the right one for you here. So, like I said, these are definitely not just from the church or or anything like that, dotted around the church, uh, to keep it lit with the finest candles. These are ones which I have made, and of course, they're specifically for uh, the re not selling, but uh, re-giving of uh, such items, okay? So this is a very luxurious candle, and as you can tell, it's got a nice thick wick at the top on all ends of these candles, so the flame will be a little bit thicker, and of course offer the more light, and perhaps I would wish to see a little bit more show of the house antiquities or religious artifacts that you've come across then. A candle like this would serve such purpose. Now it is a, a very, very, very nice wax which has been used here and it has been twirled and turned and created this quite beautiful candle here. So it is a really, really noble sort of candle which could be used to display over here by your religious artifacts or over here by your antiquities or if you'd like. But to tell if a candle is suited for you right, then a candle has to sound right for you. So with this particular candle, you have to listen to this and tell me if this is something that you would like. So made from the absolute finest of wax, these candles I'm sure would be a fine choice if thou were to be interested in a candle such as this. Well, being in a chapel and being the friar for this settlement here and its inhabitants, I would like to call all of the inhabitants uh, brothers and sisters who live here we like to make sure, but mainly me, that we have the best candles here and I'm able to help those who need the help for the candles. So, I'm able to offer, I won't say, a, a sort of exchange in amount of something. I won't uh, speak those words in here, however. I would suggest bartering or something like that if you have something in mind and if you would like to acquire some of these fine candles then perhaps you would like to have a price in mind now I know that you've probably come from the castle yeah, and whether or not you have been tasked with a particular duty to perform I can see that you have a certain amount of pressure that's been placed on you but I don't want you to worry about that whatsoever because I'm going to not just give you the two candles so is there a particular amount that you would like oh 
I, I shouldn't worry about payment at all. Now, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be the friar if I wasn't here to help. I would like to give you these candles as I'm sure that your needs are great and of course things rising in this settlement and Sir Henry knocking on everyone's settlements and, and doors and whatever with his knights asking for more and more gold and silver then things could get a little bit difficult so how about that I just get you some of these candles as a gift how many would suit you how about half a dozen These are the finest candles, and I promise you, they will serve thee well. Do you not know about these candles lit length? Well, rest assured they will last you many hours and all day. From dusk to dawn, these candles will shine bright, so perhaps you would like to just take these with you. Well, you can take them and if you have to give any to Sir Henry then give him two and keep the rest and others for yourself well, don't tell anybody that I said that otherwise I'll have them knocking on my door too you know how temperamental Sir Henry is and his knights so there we go so I hope that you enjoy these candles there and you will get a lot of pleasure from them I'm sure no 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 that, that's not necessary it isn't while you were most humble in your generous gift and uh, you wish to barter oh let me see what you've got there okay okay I see right and it, you got these fashioned at a local blacksmith. Bronze buckles. Well, they're certainly nice bronze buckles, but you really don't have to give me this at all. That's very generous of you. But that's quite a lot there. Are, are you sure? A contribution to the... Well, that is very gracious of you. You certainly are a humble seeker of religious artifacts most humble indeed well I'm sure these will all find great uses I'd like to thank you so much for your generosity indeed you are most noble well, are there any other candles that you would be interested in Just the candles for you. One second. Let's 
say that I would tell you a bit more about my meat drink of course to make and brew your own meat then would you like some more? well that's a shame but please don't tell the bishop about this as well if you wouldn't tell anyone about the mead and of course our little candle store which I have here in the chapel late at night now if you are interested in uh, certain things then um, I do dabble in certain creations and uh, could be something which um, you're not able to get then a friar is very well connected with folk of the town. So, remember that. Like, 
you, know, you don't need to give me anything. I'm feeling generous today and I like you. So I'd really like to give you this small gift for all of the trouble that I think you're probably going through at the moment. So please do accept it. You don't need to give me anything in return. Honestly, it's, it's quite fine. You being here is more than enough to make me happy. Okay, okay sure. Okay. Thank thee for thy generous... I couldn't possibly take these from you. These gems. Where did you get so many gems? There's a little bit more dew than meets the eye, isn't there? Do you live in the forest by any chance? Do? Hmm. I'll take that dodging around the question as a, a possibly that. Well, um, I don't quite know what to say. You really don't need to do this. I see. Well, um, well, that's a very beautiful gemstone. That's a other beautiful gemstone. The red one, ruby.
just be of interest to thee. And doth thee wish to have more than one? Well, you always ask for one. I'm going to give you all of them. I think your need is greater than mine for these candles. Okay, it's a quiet night and no one seems to be wanting any candles today. Well, maybe because everyone doesn't want any nights visiting their places at the moment. So no one really wishes to go out. Okay, so you would like all of these. Well, it's a pleasure to give them for you, so please do accept this gift as well for your kindness and generosity. You, no, 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 I must say no. You don't need to, absolutely not, you don't need to do that at all. Is it? you might need a candle for which to lay your mark, make your seal with your ring and the emblem on your seal and press it into the wax. You need a wax candle for seals. Well, people have these sorts of candles for things like patents of nobility, you know, for the joust and the sword games, okay, which is hosted uh, near Farquhar Castle quite often. 
indeed. So. With your particular line of work, then perhaps these candles might be a bit suited to you. As you can probably hear, these are some of the finest ceiling wax candles that I have created here as well. And I'm definitely, uh, of course, not taking them from the chapel stores or anything like that. I think your needs uh, seem to be greater than mine. And please don't give me anything whatsoever. I see what you're about and uh, you don't need to do any more. Okay, this will be a gift for you and I'm sure that you probably have to give something to Sir Henry after he's chosen you specifically yeah probably to get candles and for you to pay for them as well I see well, these are most certainly free for you so please do take these as a gift and I think it's uh, the hour is late and both and I should probably call it a night unless you would be interested of course in drinking more mead and then I could show you all that or perhaps another night indeed well please do take these candles and just uh, Make sure you, you didn't come in here for any other reason, did you, or any sort of related thing. Just the candles today. And how was it that you heard of me? Recommendation. Interesting. Well, thankfully for that recommendation that I got to meet you. And thank you so much for your kind donations. Yeah. Well, here you go for your candles there. And uh, I have work to do with distributing everyone's hard-earned silver coin and gold. Indeed. And uh, I hope you're nice and relaxed. I'd like to thank you so much for visiting my candle store. And, of course, this is completely uh, hush hush. We want to, the bishop to know anything about this or anything like that. This is just a chapel which is of course used as all the things that it needs to be used for. And uh, what I do in here late in the evenings is of course has no bearing on uh, what happens here daytime. So I would appreciate your trust and your secrecy. Indeed, I know because you've trusted me with yours. Well, it's been a pleasure and uh, hope to see you again soon. Take care of yourself. Cheerio. Uh, you've dropped your hood there, Robin. <laughs>